What's up, everybody? Today, I'm talking about overtime. People always ask me, Troy, why you do so much overtime? I like to spend money. I live off of my 40 hours a week check. That's to pay my bills and also to put a little bit of something in my savings for a rainy day. So everything that I make on overtime is extra money. I do not like to save money just to put it in the bank. I like to save money so I can spend money. I like to spend. In order to earn money, you have to work for money. So when the opportunity is there to take advantage of, I take advantage of it. The thing is that people don't understand is I really take advantage of it. To the point they're like, hey, Troy, yeah, slow down a little bit, man. You're doing too much, which is not a problem for me. But when opportunity, opportunity presents itself, I like to be present and I like to take advantage of it. And I understand that it's just a short-term thing. Where I work, it's very seasonal. So it gets very busy at certain times of the year. So that's the only time you're allowed to take advantage of overtime. Majority of the rest of the year is going to be slow. So when the money is there, you must go get it. Because when you, it's not, it will not be an option later on. It will only be 40, straight up 40, because it's not that busy. But when it's busy, they like for you to volunteer. I volunteer to the point they're like, hey, Troy, <laughs> uh, you can't come in, man. You, you're doing too much, you, you, you know? So I don't mind because I, I don't mind working for what I want. And that's one thing I try to teach to my kids. Work, work, work. You can get whatever you want. You can work to be a doctor, a lawyer. When you got your regular job, work and save. Think about long term, not short term. Long term will always get you in the right position. So when I work so much overtime, it's not I'm thinking about next weekend what I'm going to do. I'm thinking about when it slows down, what can I do? I can go travel more. I can go do more stuff with my kids. I can pay my mortgage off faster. It's so much. I have so much options because I done made extra money that I didn't really rely on because I live off of my 40 hour check or my 40 hour salary, however it go. But all the extra money, I have opportunity to do what I want with it. So if I want to go enjoy it, I can go enjoy it. If I want to pay something off early, I can pay something off early. If I had some kind of credit card debt and I wanted to attack it, I can use that extra money to attack it. If I wanted to save to buy a new place, I can save with the extra money and buy a new place. You have so much options, but I like to be in the position to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So that's why I continue to take advantage of it all the time. Not because I like to be at work, not because I don't like to be home. I love to be home. I love to relax. I'm just I'm human, just like everybody else. But when opportunity presents itself, you have to take advantage of it because it's not going to be there forever. So. Um, one thing before I go, when you do make overtime money, do not live off of your overtime money, which is what a lot of people do or does. They make a lot of overtime and then they live their life based off of what they make. So when it gets slow and no overtime is no longer offered, they get mad and cranky and miserable because they're living off a certain amount of money. And now you're only making 40 hours because it's slow. The business is not in business to make you happy. A business is in business to make profit. So if it's slow, they're just going to give you 40 hours. So you need to live off of 40 hours and everything else over time is extra. But don't live off of that 60 hours a week check. And then when they give you 40 hours, you're crying and you're mad at the world. That's not how it's supposed to go, which is what majority of people do. You cannot do that. It's like a teacher. Teachers work. Um, now, don't get me wrong now. I don't want to say the wrong thing, but let's say they offer the summer. I don't know how long the summer usually, what, three months? So they might not be getting the check in those three months. So if you're working for nine months, you have to balance out your bills because you have to make sure if you're not working a summer job or teaching for the summer, you have to make sure that you have money put aside for those two months that you're not working or three months where you're not working. But if you do, that's great. That's how it's supposed to be. But if you don't, you're going to be mad at the world. Especially, let's say, there's only a certain amount of 
summer school teachers that they can hire and you didn't get trolls. You'll be behind your bills for two or the next two or three months. And you don't want to do that. So while you're working and you have opportunity, save the money and take advantage of the opportunity. That's what I do. It's got to think long term, not short term. You can't always live in the moment. And when it comes to building wealth and financial freedom, you have to think long term. Anyway, people, if you like what I'm saying, hit the button. If you dislike what I'm saying, hit the button. Leave a comment. Share the video. Financial Freedom Mindset is available on Amazon. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. Overtime Financial Freedom. Later, people.